Hi guys, in this video I will show you how JRY Media edited this video. I'm not sure how exactly he did it but, I will edit the video as close as possible. First of all, select your video, right click on it, go to time and select, time remapping. I will make a speed ramp in reverse like in his video. I will toggle off JRY's video for now. Choose the start of the video by moving the time. Then go a few frames forward and choose the ending of the speed ramp. Now copy the first keyframe and paste it to the end of your video. Then select all three keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, right click there and select, edit value graph. Now move left yellow arrows all the way left. Then move right arrows all the way right. Enable frame blending on your video, click here twice until you see an arrow. Let's compare JRY speed ramp and ours. Cool, I'm happy with it. Now go to the moment where you want your planet video to be revealed. In my case I'm doing the exact video like JRY's, so I will cut my video at that point. Now right click on your video and pre-compose it. Now go to tracker and click on track camera. Once analyzing is done, select some spots on a car, right click and select, create null and camera. Duplicate your video now, and delete 3D camera on it. We have to mask the car now, you have two options, you can use pen tool to mask or use a roto brush, I will use roto brush tool. Make a perfect selection of the car and foreground. Once you are done with selection, press on spacebar to check if selection is following the car perfectly. If not, stop there and correct the selection. Once you are happy with selection, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Toggle of bottom video and check roto brush layer. In my case it needs smoothness in the edges, so, I will add some feather and set reduce chatter to 100%. Rename Roto Brush Layer to Car Only. Then rename Bottom Video to Background. Toggle on Background Layer. Press T to open Opacity on Background Layer. At the very beginning of the video click on Opacity Stopwatch icon, then go to the moment where you want your planet to be revealed, and change Opacity to 0. Let's bring your planet video, in my case I will use Saturn, cause that's my favorite planet. Place your planet video below car only and background layers. Then link your planet video with track null and enable 3D on it. Press S and scale as much as it needs. Then change X, Y and Z rotations, also position it as you want. Let's check the videos. In JRY's video we can see a shakes effect. I'm not sure what he used, in my case I will use Twitch plugin to make shakes. But first of all let's pre-compose all layers into the one. As we can see, at the moment where the planet reveals, he has a shake there. Let's add a twitch and start keyframing. I will go two frames backward before the planet reveals and create there a keyframe by click on amount stopwatch icon. Change amount to zero. Change speed to 30. Expand Enable and select Blur, Light, and Slide. Now go to the moment where Planet fully reveals and change amount to 15. Then go 4 frames forward and change amount to 0 again. Press U on your keyboard to see created keyframes, I will move the last keyframe to make shakes a bit longer. I don't like the shake, go to middle keyframe and change amount a bit. That's better. There is one more effect in his video, it's something like a glow, to create the same look, I will use a deep glow plugin. Go to the moment where the first keyframe is and change exposure to zero. Then click on exposure stopwatch icon. Then go right to the moment where the second keyframe is and change exposure as much as you want. Then go to the third keyframe and change exposure to zero again. That looks almost the same as JRY's video. Lastly, let's color grade the planet video, double click on pre-composed layer, in pre-composed layer select your planet video and add curves on it. I will try to match Saturn colors to my actual video color. Add Lumtry color. Expand creative and add fade a bit. I like the color match. Do not copy my settings, cause our videos are different, 
Play around with color correction until it will make you happy. Write in comments if I recreated this video perfectly. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.